NBA Media Day continues, and we have the first picks of LeBron James in his Lakers number 23 jersey. Now, before we get started today, I want to shout out the GOAT. <laughs> Not LeBron James, but Tiger Woods. Congratulations on winning your 80th PGA Tour. Yeah, you guys thought I was going to say something about LeBron being a GOAT. I don't think so. So disrespectful. Yeah for yeah. you to say something like that. MJ for life. But LeBron James is now a member of the Lakers, officially starting today. It's the new season of the NBA season. Everyone's excited. Um, my Clippers actually had media day at the same time as LeBron's conference and I don't think anybody watched it. I've been looking everywhere for some footage on the Clippers. Like, who doesn't want to see Patrick Beverly, Tobias Harris, Sixth Man of the Year, Lou Will? <laughs> But no, everybody wanted to go seven minutes up the road, whatever it was, to go see LeBron James. <laughs> now I already don't like LeBron James in LA because normally his press conference would have been in Cleveland and that would have happened three hours ago. But because you're now in Los Angeles, you just took media time away from my babies, the Clippers. Well, since we're here and we're talking about LeBron James and that was the only press conference I got to see in LA today, let's talk about some of his questions. So. Early in his press conference, he was asked, what at this stage of your career creates pressure for you? Take a look at what LeBron James had to say. What, if anything, at this stage of your career creates pressure for you? Brings about pressure? Nothing. Uh, I guess he's being honest. I mean, a guy at his age with children and a wife and living his best life and doing movies and HBO specials, everything he's doing, all this stuff, TV shows, like, I mean, what more pressure could a guy have than that? Basketball's just like secondary, but you do have pressure, sir, on this new Space Jam 2 you're coming out with, because, I mean, that's a lot of pressure to fill Michael Jordan's shoes, which you actually wear sometimes. Like, Space Jam's one of the greatest movies of all time, so for you to come in and want to do Space Jam 2, I guess if you don't feel pressure like that, nothing else is going to change. Including his game, he was actually asked about what it's going to be like playing with his new team and he said this. My game does not change no matter who I'm playing with. I'm a team first guy, love sharing the ball, I'm excited to play with this pace. I love getting up and down the floor. Okay, I mean, but it's kind of weird that he says that his game doesn't change regardless. So he's basically pointing out that it doesn't matter who the coach is, he's going to play LeBron James's game and then everyone else is just going to have to adjust to it. Like, that's kind of what it seemed like he was doing there. But he did come and say it later that like Luke Walton and those guys are going to have things in you know, preparation for them, whatever. But LeBron, we know you know that we know that you're kind of the coach, so. There go your answer right there. We also asked LeBron James why he decided to come to LA because as you guys know, since he's been in LA, he's already said that he was coming out with some TV shows, some movies. Now we hear about Space Jam 2. He said though. My decision was based solely on my family and the Lakers. Uh, listen, I I'm a basketball player. Um, I play ball, that's what I do, uh, that's what I live by, and when I do it at the level I do it at, everything else takes care of itself. So. so, I guess we are supposed to believe you here, but we don't. Because you came here and all of a sudden you have all these things, these things didn't just come out of thin air. Like, you have literally been talking to people and had things in place, and you knew that you were going to come to L.A., you just tried to make us wait it out for so long, and now you interrupt my freaking Clippers press conference, so we could just talk about you and why you came here. When you could have told us a long time ago that you were coming to LA and you knew you were coming to LA. Anyways, let's move on because we also didn't get to see a lot of the stuff for the Warriors, um, but he did talk about the Warriors and getting past that hurdle, which is the Warriors. And LeBron definitely said that they have a long way to go before they even get to a place where the Warriors are. He said that the Warriors have been playing with each other for several years. They are the champions. They did beat LeBron several times. LeBron has been to eight consecutive NBA Finals. He's clearly only won a couple of those. And you know, the Warriors have accounted for most of the other ones that he hasn't won recently. So he knows being in the Western Conference, he's going to have to deal with the Warriors several times more than he did before and it's gonna be a big hurdle for them, but he definitely seems like he's really positive about what's going on with his organization, but of course, who wouldn't be? You have to be, it's press day, you have to say the best things. Um, 
But LeBron, I'm actually not mad at you in the yellow. You actually look really nice in yellow. You actually looked really nice in yellow, even though you did take still a lot of sunshine, literally, from my clippers. Let me know what you guys think about seeing LeBron for the very first time in his Lakers gear. It's exciting. So excited over here. Anyways, I'm Bert Johnson for the fumble. I'll see you guys soon. Go Clippers!